Ooh, baby, I want to get with you. Wanna, I'm just going to stop what I'm doing. Hey, how's it going? Every single person that is on the planet Earth and has access to the internet and knows what YouTube is and speaks my language and so on and so forth. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're doing well. Um, if you're not having a great day and not doing well, my best advice to you would probably be to change that and do the opposite of what you're doing. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, uh, today, or well, not today, but previously in my life, today for you, I guess I'm a time traveler in that sense, but anyways, I made a, or I customized, I reworked a champion sweatshirt. Uh, it's a champion sweatshirt that I... I found in Goodwill. Uh, I find all my stuff in secondhand stores like Goodwill and thrift stores, consignment stores, you name it, trash cans, whatever I can get my hands on. Uh, it just it's better for the environment, you know. It's it's good for Earth that we're all a part of, uh, apparently. I think I don't know. Unless you are an alien life form somewhere on another planet spying on me right now then I made this sweatshirt to help everyone but you but this is a cool sweatshirt I like the way it turned out uh, it's a it's like a I don't know if I yeah I, I guess I'd call it a navy blue it's kind of like a like a bright navy blue though uh, navy blue sweatshirt so usually I don't work with navy blue not a big fan of it so for this one I was like you know what I should just go should just lean into the blue and make like a really blue piece a piece of clothing and so that's that's pretty much what I did um, I didn't really have uh, I mean other than the color scheme I didn't really have a, a theme that I was going for it's just kind of trying to make something that uh, had a nice uh, nice flow uh, just looked cool I guess really I uh, used some of my some of my favorite patches that I had so you, you know it I like it I like how it turned out I like how everything kind of works together there's a word I'm looking for here that I, I can't I can't think of for some reason it's really bothering me anyway I guess it doesn't matter um, anyway uh, once I put all the patches down which is the first step trying to figure out the oh composition that's the word I was looking for once I figured out the composition of all the patches and kind of had a very vague idea in my head, it was time to hit the sewing machine. So, uh, as I usually do, I sewed Jesus onto a champion sweatshirt next to an operating room that's on top of the word Disturbed. Oh, I, I just recently saw Disturbed. That was pretty cool. I got to hear the... Uh, the the classic down with the sickness uh, if you've if you've heard uh, dute with the sickness I don't know what I'm talking about I, I sewed them on there okay I did some sewing it looks cool anyways what are you guys up to yeah that's cool me too uh, I just recently had my birthday and my birthday party uh, all my friends uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have good friends and all that fun stuff but they they surprised me with a birthday party at a trampoline park uh, that was really fun uh, only only one of us got hurt uh, our friend will he he tried <laughs> he tried to do the ninja wall you know like the warped wall from the American Ninja Warrior thing and instead of running up it he just he just ran right into it so that was uh he's okay just a little bit of a I think they call it a a deceleration injury maybe whenever you're like your body's moving at a high speed and it, it comes to a sudden stop and all of your like organs and insides kind of get shifted over to one side I'm no doctor don't listen to me but that's what I think it's called that's what I think it is but I don't know so anyways after I got all the patches patched on and oh uh, if you can hear that that's my cat crawling onto a gift bag that I have not picked up from my floor yet. Uh, but yeah, after I did that, I painted on a bat. Uh, why a bat? 
Um, really no reason except for I thought it looked cool. And honestly, that's what I was going for with this piece. I didn't... Oh, and now my cats are trying to kill each other. So, that's that's my... I live in a zoo. So, you guys get to experience that too if you can hear it, which I'm sure you probably can. But yeah, just wanted it to look cool. Maybe instead of a bat, I should have painted a cat on it. I don't know. Maybe that wouldn't have been as cool. I'm, I'm surrounded by cats, okay? Uh, so, yeah. I just made this bat patch, and I was like, I'm going to do it. Looks cool. Uh, I'm a little little disappointed with how the wings came out. It's it's just kind of honestly hard to get them to stay in like the exact right position. But they came out fine. I think it looks good. You, you get the idea. And then after I did the white, I went through really lightly and kind of dry brushed in some blue. And I, I think it looks cool. Uh, currently, my cat Boo is inside of a box and he is I think maybe having an aneurysm I'm not too sure I should check on him but he's probably okay nope maybe not okay I don't know what he's doing uh, he might be rabid actually might anyways uh, after I did the bat patch I moved on to another stencil that I just made uh, it says laid off Laid Off is my brand. Um, if you haven't heard of it, you're probably just not that cool. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, you know. No, I'm kidding. It's uh, I, I'm very, I have a very, very small, small brand. Um, I, I mean, maybe not very small. I, I'm about to hit 10,000 followers on Depop, uh, which if you don't know what Depop is, which maybe not surprisingly, but uh, just not a lot of people know of what Depop is. Uh, they were recently bought out by Etsy. I'm sure you've heard of Etsy. Uh, it's kind of the same idea. It's a reselling platform like eBay and, and Poshmark and whatever. But they, they kind of focus on streetwear and clo clothing in general. You know, like vintage and stuff. So uh, if you, if you want to check that out, uh, that's where I'm at. If you want to drop me a follow, uh, if you want to if you want to look at all of the stuff that I have available, uh, not only do I make custom clothing, uh, I, I thrift and I find a bunch of cool vintage stuff, and I, I try to give reasonable deals. Um, if I'm always, always up to negotiate. Uh, if you want to hit me with a price that you think is a little bit too much, I'd be happy to go down on it if I can, which usually I do. Uh, and then, of course, after I did the white on the laid off, uh, stencil work I, I dry brush on some more blue and then that was pretty much the bulk of the uh, of the sweatshirt that I made and then after that I was just kind of not really trying to fill in uh, detail but kind of trying to make some more of a flow in the composition and uh, make it Make it have like that extra, extra little bit of pizzazz, you know, the little bit of detail that, like, the small, the small bits of detail are what really make something for me, you know? Uh, and I'm sure, it seems like most people are like this, but whenever there's just a little bit of, of artistry, and you know, you look at like a, at a sweater or a pair of pants, and you're like, you know, wow, if it wasn't for that, I don't really think I'd like it that much, but but this little thing, man, just mmm. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe you don't. Do I even know what I'm saying? Anyways, I added some freaking safety pins and some some eyelets, some grommets. I, I mean, I think it looks cool. I, I like I like a little bit of hardware. That just one more step of of something, you know. Uh, it makes it makes it not as boring, gives it something else, and kind of makes the composition work a little bit better in the flow. And I've already said this. I'm, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, okay? Okay. But yeah, I, I had a good birthday. Um, if it's your birthday today, happy birthday. And if it's your birthday tomorrow, happy early birthday. And you know what? If it was your birthday yesterday, happy belated birthday. Belated is kind of a weird word. 
I guess really all words are real words. I don't know. Wor words are hard. That's what they say. So I added some more eyelets or grommets. Uh, uh, you know what? Back to the word thing. How come there are multiple words for the same thing? Like these little, these little round metal things with a hole in the middle? That's called an eyelet and it's called a grommet. Says who? I'll tell you who. The man. The man and big businesses. The government. The government is behind everything, aren't they? It's all about money. Or something. I don't know. Words are hard. Grommets and eyelets and, and belated birthdays. Anyways, um, more safety pins. There's a cat in the video. Um, that might be Raven or Boo. I have two black cats. Um, I love my cats. They love me. Someone on a TikTok I made was like, Ooh, you have cats? You better lint roll before you ship something. And I was like, you know, <laughs> I do. I do that. That, uh, that is, uh, that's good advice and I appreciate it, but... It would, it would be bad if I didn't. I guess I always try to. Oh, there's Willow. She's uh, stealing the show. I always try to. I guess ship things with the best, uh, best quality. And you know, whenever you get something out of a package, you don't want it to look like, like it was just wadded up and thrown in there. And if it's a custom thing, I normally try to throw on a sticker or. You know, I, I make little custom stuffed animals if you buy so much from me. But anyways, other than that, after the safety pins and the eyelets slash grommets slash belated birthdays, that was it, man. I, I And I like it. But anyways, if you're interested in this shirt or anything else that I have, I'll put my Depop on the screen, my website, I'll put my Instagram, and I'll put my TikTok on there too. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you like the video. Uh, if you dislike the video, don't leave a dislike because it don't matter anymore. Uh, if you want to see more projects I have in the future, consider pressing the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And uh, I, I would really, oh my god, I would love to know if you have a suggestion for something else I should make in the future. So drop a comment and please tell me something you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will holla holla. Hot dog, you know what I'm saying? Alright, bye.